Black Friday, uh, I worked by myself. The guys worked on Thursday, so I gave them the option of they could take it off on Saturday or on Friday. And I knew it wasn't going to be that crazy busy. Um, it was crazy busy for one person, yeah. But it wasn't crazy busy for the shop yeah, as far as, uh, as a regular Friday. It wasn't no regular Friday. Uh, it was only a third of what we normally make on a Saturday, uh, uh, on a Friday. So it was all right. I, I, I mean, I did it by myself. I, I, I dealt with it. And uh, it, it turned out to be a really, really good day. Um, you guys saw the little incident that I told you guys about? About the little boy that got mad because I cut his hair a little too short on top. He looked like a mushroom and I made him look normal. But apparently he liked the mushroom look. So it is what it is. You can't uh, argue with customers. You just, you know, you deal with it. And I gave him his money back. But, you know, uh, at the same time, I wasn't too happy about it because I thought it was a good haircut, you know. But what's going to happen is that the thing, my thing is, well, this is what's going to happen. Is he's going to go back to his family. He's going to go back with his friends and, and everything. And they're going to like his haircut. And they're going to tell him, oh, that's a nice haircut. And then he's going to want to come back and get it with, for me again. And now he owes me 20 bucks. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, I gave him back his money. But at the same time, I know the haircut was good. If the haircut wasn't good, I would, you know, give him money, back his money. And then it would be no problem. And well, it is no problem either way. But still, you know, I would have given him back his money and they would have been done with that. But that's the situation that, that arise when you're when you're a barbershop owner and you got to deal with, guys. Uh, you know, when you're dealing with the public... You know, of course, your goal is to always please everybody, but you're not always going to please everybody. There's always going to be that one person that that's unsatisfiable, and uh, and you know, no matter what you do, or or, or they're 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 not going to be satisfied, and and that's that type of situation that was yesterday. But uh, we handled it, and, and we handled it the right way. No arguments, no nothing. Just you know, I just told him, no problem, brother. Here's your money. You know, come back and get it. But. Uh, it is what it is. So today's Saturday. Uh, today I expect a full crew. Uh, I might give a couple guys if they're not there right now in the morning. I might give them a just give them the day off because I don't expect it to be too busy today because we it's already it's the weekend of the holiday. We we've already everybody's already come through, you know. So I don't expect it to be busy at all today. So um, today should be a pretty easy, relaxed full day. So I'm headed to the shop. Get started on this day, guys. I hope you guys are up already. I hope you guys are already uh, out the door and on the way to your shops. Because if you're not, I don't know how you're going to make any money today. You know, barbering is an early man's business. It's not a late man's business or early man's business, you know. So you guys need to be up early. All right, guys. With that being said, I'm headed to the shop. Grind on. So today's been exactly what I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's relatively slow. Not a lot of business. Uh, there's four of us working to where yesterday was only me working. So today there's four of us working. And uh, I've been staying busy, guys. Don't get me wrong. I've been super busy myself, personally. Uh, I haven't been, I've been nonstop until right now that I left. But um, the guys have been kind of sitting around. They've only got like one or two haircuts each. So overall, it's a relatively slow day. But we expected it because uh, we did everybody already this week, you know. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we were slam busy every day. So, uh, today I didn't expect it to be as busy. But, like I said, myself, I think right now I'm already at least 10 haircuts in. Since I started, since I got here at 7.30, I've been non-stop. Um, which is a good thing, you know what I mean? I don't mind. I'd rather be busy than not busy because the day goes by faster. So right now I'm gonna head it over to Sprouts and pick up some sandwiches for the boys. Back, have lunch and uh, finish this day strong. Uh, I've already recorded one uh, uh, haircut right now. It came out pretty nice, I think. Um, I post it up, show you guys. So get done with this day and then uh, 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 we'll go on from there, guys. All right, had a little burp, fart right there for a minute. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So strong, I know that this is wrong, but I need you around my appetite.
Well, guys, that's it for today. Oh shit. Let me see. Oh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, another day is over. This Saturday is done. Uh, I was extremely busy. <clears throat> it turned out to be a decent day. I mean, like it was probably the half of what we normally do on a Saturday. But be myself, I was really busy. Uh, the boys ended up doing pretty good. They ended up picking up. Uh, one of the boys left. We went with three barbers. It was me, Raul. Yeah, it was three barbers. So it was three of us. And uh, we stayed pretty busy till the very end right now. Right now it's 4.45. I'm out of here. I'm going home. I'm actually, right now, we're going to go out to dinner to take my cousins. My cousins are here from up north for Thanksgiving. So they want to go see Portugal. So, unfortunately, it's already late. It's already, like, you can see it's 4.45. Uh, uh, it's already a little, a little late. So, by the time we get out there, it's probably going to be dark. And Portugal is by the ocean. <coughs> at San Pedro. But what we, they do there is they have these big-ass fish trays of shrimp. And, and uh, oh, my God. It's so much goodness, dude. It's like, we're going to go eat there right now. So, I'm taking them. I'm going to take them out there uh, uh, with my family. I'm taking my mom and my lady. And... My daughter's gonna go, so we're all gonna roll down there right now. Uh, so it's probably like 45 minute drive from here. We're you know, right here in Azusa, we're pretty close. We're halfway to the ocean, and I'm you see the mountains right behind us, so we're close. So um, we're gonna do that right now, but that's it for today, guys. Um, probably not gonna speak anymore, but I'm gonna post up a little bit of, uh, of, of Ports of Call so you guys can check it out, all right, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. Hey, guys. I appreciate everybody contacting me and, and uh, leaving messages. It's, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, those guys that, that contacted me from uh, uh, from Oregon, Portland, Oregon, they're pretty good. I think his name is Jay Cuts from, uh, uh, on his Instagram. But, hey, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate everybody watching. If you guys have any questions, anything you guys want me to talk about, anything you guys want me to share, shoot the question. I got you guys. All right, with that being said, you guys have a blessed evening, and uh, I'm headed to Portugal. Good thing is I don't got to drive. My lady's going to drive for us. So, with that being said, hey, you guys have a blessed night, and I'll see you guys mañana. World famous. Look at this. World famous shrimp tray. Look at this shit. He has a lot of teeth, huh? Yeah!